Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Classes. So in this video, we will be covering what is data analysis. We will see what exactly a data analysis is and why we are performing data analysis, why it is important to perform data analysis in today's time. So first of all, we will learn how data will be collected. Just these are some of the ways, these are some of the sources from which data can be collected. So first is interviews, we can collect data from the interviews, observations, surveys, questionnaires, documents, and then last websites. So data can be collected from these multiple sources and then aggregated and we can perform analysis on these kinds of data. So let's see what is a data analysis and why we should perform data analysis on a given data. So what is data analysis? The process of analyzing, cleansing, manipulating and modeling data with the objective of identifying useful information, informing conclusion and assisting decision making is known as data analysis. So you can see data analysis as sub processes with the first one is the analyzing. Now, what means analyzing? When you get the data, what is the first step you will do? You will see the data. You will see and understand the data. Okay, this data is a kind of this type. And then what you do after seeing the data, you will understand I have to perform this kind of analysis on the given data. So that is something coming from the analyzing. Okay, that is the first glance of the data. You will see the data and get some understanding of the data and also get idea to perform what kind of processes on the data. Now the next step, next the most important step is the cleansing. Data can be collected from multiple sources and it may be possible that data is unclean. Means it has some missing values, inappropriate values, incorrect values and also have some duplicacy. So what we can do, if we want to perform data analysis on a given data, then we should first check if the data is clean or not. If not, then we have to clean by performing different kinds of operations, different kinds of functions on the data to remove all the inappropriate things from the data. And then we get the clean data that is fit for the analysis. And in future, if you are doing machine learning, then also for the machine learning processes, you have to get clean data. You can't perform machine learning modeling on an unclean data, or you can say that a raw data. Now the third one is, third most important step is, manipulating now first step analyzing when you analyze the data then clean the data then what you do you perform some kind of analysis some kind of transformation that is called as manipulating so you will manipulate the data to get some findings some insights from the data for example if there is a company and their company is selling some products what they can do in manipulating process, they can understand, okay, which products is selling more, which is the second highest product that is selling more, like that. They will find some insights, they will find some answers to the research questions in the manipulating process. Last one is the modeling data. Now, modeling data you can see as, you can also perform visualization and also machine learning modeling. Now, modeling data includes, first of all, the visualization. What you can do when you are doing manipulations, when you are doing transformation, you are getting some insights. You can also show them via bar charts, pie charts, line charts, like different kinds of charts. So that will make our findings much more meaningful. So visualization is a very good process to represent our findings. And also after performing analysis, cleansing, analyzing, you can also fit a machine learning model to see what kind of prediction it can give on a given kind of data. So here it is written with the objective of identifying usable information, conclusion, informing conclusion and assisting decision making. Now you can say that why we are performing data analysis. What is the aim of performing data analysis? Okay, whenever anyone is performing data analysis, what should be the aim? The aim should be we have to get some meaningful insights, some useful information from the data. And also that information will help us in getting some conclusion of the data and also helps in decision making. So there comes the question why we are performing data analysis, why it is important to perform data analysis when we have the data. So just see the example, there is a company who is selling the product. Now, what he want to do is, 
द कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू नो हिज टारगेट कस्टमर्स सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज टू नो यूर टारगेट कस्टमर्स डेटा एनस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो यूर टारगेट कस्टमर्स वैन द डेटा एनालिस्ट परफॉर्म डेटा एनालिसिस ऑन द डेटा ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सेल्स डेटा ही विल फाइंड ओके दिस एज ग्रुप इज प्रिफरिंग आवर प्रोडक्ट मोर दिस जेंडर इज प्रिफरिंग आवर प्रोडक्ट मोर दैट फाइंडिंग्स इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द एनालिसिस ऑफ द डेटा सो ही विल सी ओके दिस इज माई टारगेट कस्टमर्स now the next point is to identify and solve problems now when we have the data we are performing analysis we will see our product is lacking in this age group and also in this gender so what can we do for that so that problem is coming from the data when we are analyzing the data we can see we can identify where the problem is and also we can make solutions to solve that problems so data also helps in decision making when the person when the company will see okay this is my target customer they will make decisions to make their sales to increase their sales more so that's how the data analysis will help any business company etc so it is very much important when you have the data you have to perform the analysis to get meaningful insights that is the main aim of performing data analysis if you find my videos helpful then please like and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends thank you